Kelly is with us. Kelly is in Orlando, Florida. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, I want to cut straight to the point. I went through your financial university with my husband. We let stupidity come into our lives. We bought a $40,000 truck, and then we turned around not even a year later, bought a $175,000 home. Um, my husband currently is the only one bringing in an income of right around 57000 I did try to start an online eBay stuff, selling things. I'm to the point now, it's like I'm treading through water and I'm not getting ahead. Um, and I'm to the point, should we let the car company repossess the truck? Should we try to sell it out? Because we are in the hole right around 10000 on it. Um, your, your household income is what again? Uh, right around 57000 And you bought a $40,000 truck? Yes. <laughs> we let stupidity move in. We shouldn't have bought the house when we did, and... I mean, I realized we were so over our head. I mean, we still are, but I'm to the point now of just they can have the truck back because between the house payment and the truck, it's almost 2000 a month, and I'm just, I'm drowning in debt. I can't do it no more. <laughs> but my and, husband and don't want to let the truck get repossessed. <laughs> and apparently he's not helping at all. No, <laughs> not really. Yeah. Okay. I mean, is it is it the best option to give the truck, like, repossessed or no. sell it and pay the difference? Or? No, you sell it and pay the difference um, because when you give it to them, they're going to sell it for $10,000 less than you would have sold it for, and they're going to sue you for the difference. You get to pay the difference either way. But you're going to have more right. difference and screwed up credit with a repossession than you are if you sell it yourself. Um, the problem is I don't think you guys are going to do any of this. Because I think I, I, I think mean, I think you're going to look at him and say we're going to sell the house and sell the truck, and he says no, we're not, and so they're going to come take both because y'all are not willing to address the issue. That's how you got in this mess in the first place. Him. I mean, he he sees where we have an issue, and we we do have like two thousand. He doesn't see where you have an issue. He doesn't want to sell the truck. That's a lie. Right. You're kidding yourself. You're right. So I predict more pain until somebody wakes up named him. Okay. I sure hope I'm wrong. But let me tell you what, if if both of you woke up, if I can throw enough hot water or cold water or whatever kind of water I need to throw uh, on on you guys to wake you two up this time, then you need to put a for sale sign on both of these and get rid of them immediately. They're both insanity. House and car. They're insanity when you did it. They're insanity to keep them. You know that. You knew that before you called me. You told me yeah. that they were insanity. Now, the only question is, uh, are you going to pretend like this is not going to happen and wait for it to happen? Because it's going to happen. This stuff is leaving right. your life. They're either going to take it or you're going to sell it. And you're going to decide whether it's going to happen to you and you're going to be a victim or whether you're going to happen to it and clean up your own mess. If I'm in your shoes, I'm putting everything up for sale today. And it sounds like you two need to sit down with a marriage counselor because... Man, I don't know where this guy's brain is. Whew. Cooked. Cooked. Good luck with that. I sure hope you turn it, darling. If you need help, I'll be happy to help you. But I can't help you unless both of you are willing to do it. If you, if one of you is, you know, filling in the hole faster and the other one's digging it out, you ain't got a chance. And that's what's going on here. You're scared to death, finally. Way too late, you got scared to death. You should have been scared to death before you signed any of those papers. But now you're finally scared to death, and he's still just walking along like a bear in the woods or something. I don't know what he's walking along like. I can't even come up with a good metaphor right now. He's lost. I'm thinking of that guy on the Bear in Jungle book, you know, just just the bear necessities. I can't sing it, but that's kind of, you know, just diddy. When down south, we call it diddy bopping along, you know. And, and crap runs over you like a train when you do that. You're just going to be train wreck. That's what you're going to be. So I sure hope you guys address this. Please address it for your sake. It doesn't affect me, but my gosh, what a mess. No, And, and you're either going to happen to the mess or the mess is going to happen to you. There is no in-between. It's physics. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.